Welcome to Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 30th of March with me, Patrick Munley. Although markets have calmed slightly following the volatility since the outbreak of COVID-19, uncertainty remains as the pandemic intensifies across Europe and North America. As has become apparent in recent weeks, the escalation of emergency government measures will have a lasting impact on the economy. The second quarter likely to be hit hard. Giving an insight into labour force conditions, the publication of Friday's non-farm payrolls for March may give greater colour as to the effects of shutdowns and lower demand have impacted the wider economy. The release of flash PMI data signalled the stark impact the outbreak of COVID-19 had already had on the US economy. The service sector was dented further as the contraction accelerated to a March rate. Meanwhile, goods producers indicated the fastest fall in output since the depths of the global financial crisis in August 2009. The publication of final PMI data from IHS Market will give greater insight into the impact of emergency measures in response to the outbreak of COVID-19 on the wider economy in the final month of the first quarter. Traders will eye payroll figures after data from the Labour Department showed a surge in weekly jobless claims. Non-farm payrolls are expected to contract in March, as the impact of shutdowns and extremely challenging demand conditions hit the workforce. According to the Flash PMI data for the final month of the first quarter, staffing levels will fall solidly amid a sharp reduction of private sector demand and business activity. Other key US data includes updates to regional surveys such as Dallas Fed Manufacturing Index, Chicago PMI alongside factory orders, ADP employment and ISM PMI data. From a technical perspective, the dollar index has uh, failed to uh, regain the 2017 highs and we have since seen what looks like an impulsive pullback from that test of the 103 area. As such, what I'm looking for this uh, early in the week is a corrective phase to set up with the dollar looking to retest a minimum of the 100.63 level and probably up to the 101 area where I'd be looking for key reversal patterns to set up an, at least another leg of corrective downside, targeting down to 97, 96, 50 and that's where the market will make a decision as to the next phase of price action. Whilst we're Talking about the dollar, let's check in with gold. Gold continued to grind higher this week, uh, after, gaining after the uh, Friday's passage of the, the stimulus bill. What we're looking for now is for, um, is for gold to make a, another high, uh, probably up to this 1680 area. And then what I'd be looking for is a, a symmetry swing correction, back down into the 1560, 1580 area. And from there, what I'd be looking for uh, bullish reversal patterns to set long positions, targeting a retest of the prior highs at 1702 and likely en route to 1760, 1780 area. Developments in the global coronavirus pandemic, with the epicenter now in Europe, remain a key focus from an economic perspective in the coming week as the first quarter draws to a close. The continued escalation of the infection rate coupled with extreme public health measures such as lockdowns and border, con uh, border closures suggest that the spillover into the second quarter is going to, have to be significant in the Eurozone. PMI data for Italy and Spain, the two countries which at this time have the largest outbreaks in Europe, will be released for March, as will other parts of Europe, helping to ascertain how widespread the negative economic impact has been across the continent. Most official data releases, being lagging indicators, are unable to provide any meaningful forward-looking insight, although unemployment data for Germany in March and preliminary inflation figures across the Eurozone will draw scrutiny. From a technical perspective, the euro dollar is currently correcting against the decline that we witnessed uh, in March. Uh, from the beginning of March, sorry. What I'm now looking for is um, is the current impulse leg that we've witnessed um, into the back end of last week. We'll actually see some corrective price action now, and I'd be looking for a move back down to test into the 108, 108, 50 area. From here, I'd be looking for bullish reversal patterns to set long positions, ultimately targeting a move, targeting a move up to this 113 as the next upside objective. 
In the UK, the government and the Bank of England have pledged to do more if necessary, but policymakers will be actively implementing various schemes already announced, including this week's support for the self-employed, and watching how these measures impact the economy. The BOE left policy settings after its recent actions, including cutting the bank rate to a record 0.1%. The main highlight next week from the, the, in the UK economic calendar will be more March survey releases to provide a timely gauge of economic sentiments. The Lloyd's Business Barometer and the GFK Consumer Confidence will both be released on Tuesday, with forecasters expecting a fall in the GFK to minus 11 from minus 7. Final readings of March Manufacturing Services PMI will be released Wednesday and Friday. With re responses included from later in the month, we may see downward revisions to the manufacturing PMI and to the services PMI. From a technical perspective, the sterling dollar has put in what looks like an impulses move off the 114 low. And what I'll be looking for now is a corrective phase to develop early to midweek, um, ultimately testing back into this 118. Uh, 119 area, where once again I'll be looking for bullish reversal patterns to set long positions, certainly targeting a move up to test this 125.70 uh, and as high as 128 um, as the next decision point for the market. Uh, for Canada, the Nanos Bloomberg Confidence Survey for March 27th uh, will be reported on Monday. January GDP is reported Tuesday, market manufacturing PMI numbers for March are released Wednesday, and international trade data will be published on Thursday. From a technical perspective, I'm looking for the, uh, the Looney to correct uh, against this current 139 low. I'm looking for a move up uh, as a symmetry swing here to target into this 143 area, where once again I'll be expecting sellers to re-emerge, so I'll be looking for bearish reversal patterns to set short positions, targeting a, re a minimum retest of the price swing lows, but ultimately looking down into this 138, 137 area. In Australia, the focus will be on Wednesday's RBA minutes from the ad hoc meeting that was held on March 18th. We also get March AIG PMI, which is expected to be registering near a five year low. Weak orders, drought and bushfires are likely to impact the manufacturing sector significantly. Uh, we also get March uh, CoreLogic Home Value Index uptrends, continued pre-shutdowns, but the, growth, the pace, of, pace of growth sorry, is likely easing significantly, with February dwelling approvals, um, seeing disruptions obviously for the bushfires and COVID-19, and we could see further falls in that data. From a technical perspective, I'm looking for the Australian dollar to uh, correct lower, certainly down to test the uh, potentially test this 59 area where I would be looking for bullish reversal patterns to set long positions, ultimately targeting a move up to the 64 level. If we fail to find support at the 59, we don't get any price confirmation there. I look for a deeper pullback to retest the, uh, the 56, 60 area, but once again, after the deep corrective move, we could see another uh, leg higher here, ultimately still targeting a test of the 64 level. Obviously, a break below this 56.50 will be a very bearish development, and we'd expect a retest of the uh, March lows of 54.98. In Japan, uh, Tuesday's February industrial production is expected to remain subdued as any bounce in activity is likely to take some time to manifest. Uh, Wednesday's Q1 Tankan survey of large manufacturing index is expected to show Japan's corporates to be highly cautious over the, uh, their outlook. From a technical perspective, um, the dollar yen has broken down. Uh, if we can hold support here at this 107.60 area, I look for a corrective move up into this uh, 109.50, 110 area, where again, I'd be looking for bearish reversal patterns in this area uh, to set short positions, ultimately targeting a move back down to 106 or 105.50. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing March the 30th.